You're lucky to have a long line. Wilbert told Thomas and Toby. Mine is only one and a half miles long. With a station at Nord Short. And another at Lindsay. The scenery is superb though. My driver says it's better up the valley. Our volunteers are going up that bit too. They work hard, but it takes a long time. One of Wilbert's first jobs was at Lead Mind. Don't pass danger signs, Thomas said. I fell down a mine once. Wilbert smiled. I've worked in a colliery, he said. I know about danger signs, but, he added, there was an engine once who thought he knew better. What happened? asked Toby and Thomas. Wilbert paused. The engine didn't have a name, he began. Just the number, 16, and he worked in a steel works. One of the jobs that 16 and his friends had to do was to take waste from the works in special trucks take them to a place called the tip. Well, went on Wilbert, 16 got tired of always stopping in the same place. He tried to go further, but his driver would always prevent him. The other engines tried to stop him too. If the notice says danger, you shouldn't go past it, they said. Wilbert paid no attention. Sixteen paid no attention. Don't be stupid, said his driver. We mustn't pass the notice or goodness know where we shall end up. But 16 wanted to know. Poo, he scoffed. I can take care of myself. One wet day, sixteen shots came. The rails were slippery. And when his driver tried to stop, he couldn't. You see, sixteen had asked the trucks that were in front of him to carry past the warning signs. They did, and their momentum pulled 16 with them. 
You silly engine, scolded his driver. Wasn't my fault, muttered Sixteen sulkily. It was those trucks. You always wanted to pass that board, said the driver crossly. I believe you asked them to drag us on purpose. A foreman ran towards them. What are you doing there? he shouted. It's not safe. The trucks dragged us, explained the driver. Well, come to the office with me and you, fireman, get back to your en get your engine back on firm ground before it's too late. But it was already too late. As the foreman turned away, the earth beneath sixteen its wheels sunk and the rail sagged. A small rush of stone clattered away from the bottom of the bank. Sixteen's fireman knew if he tried to move the engine, it would only make things worse. Oh, groaned Sixteen. Beneath his weight, the rail sagged even more. Suddenly, they fell away completely. As the fireman leaped, for safety, sixteen overbalanced, the coupling between him and the trucks broke, and he rolled over wheels over cab down the bank. He reached the bottom with a crash. Sixteen lay on his side, looking surprised. Leaking steam in all directions. Help! He gasped weakly. Thomas and Toby were silent. What happened to Sixteen after that? Ventured Toby. Oh, he was rescued, Wilbert said. But he wasn't repaired. He was sent to the back of the shed in disgrace. Is he still there? asked Thomas. He got better than he deserved smiled Wilbert. Some preservation people came and bought him and now he lives in the Midlands. But I think it's lucky to have been given a second chance. Thomas and Toby could only agree.